This video will show how you can use the copy and paste within a conversational program. So right now I have a program that has a tool number one doing some drilling. And I'm going to show you how you can copy that and with a little editing you can make it be a tap cycle for the next tool. So hit F2 view and that's going to go into the view mode. So you want to make sure you are on the tool change for whatever tool you want to copy. So I'm going to use my arrows to go to tool change for tool number one and then hit F1 block begin and then hit F10 arrow down to where you want to end the copying which for this tool will be the disabled drill cycle. And then hit F2 end and that'll highlight that block of events. So hit F3 copy and then I want to move down one spot where I want to paste it and select F4 paste and now you can see I added the extra events and it looks like I have tool number one repeating itself so you want to make sure you edit event number five which is the second tool number one so when you're on it and if you're not on it you can use your F9 and F10 arrow keys to highlight it once it's highlighted press escape That'll bring you into the editing mode. So now press F1 edit and we're going to change the tool number to tool number two and we'll change the tool description. You don't have to but for this example we will have 13 tap and we'll say our RPMs are going to be 250. So we made some changes so make sure you press F1 store and now on the next event we want to change it from the drill cycle to the tap cycle. So let's change it to tap and that will be hard right or rigid tapping and threads per unit. We'll say this one is going to be a half 13 so threads per unit would be 13. Spindle on clockwise RPM we can leave that field blank because we have the RPM on our tool change page. We'll leave the clearance at point 0.1 and the depth of our tap Let's change that to 600 thousandths. In our dwell, we can put that at zero. And again, make sure you press F1 store anytime you make any changes. And now if you go to the next event, the positions, that all copied over from our drill. So now if we press preview, you'll see the drill run first followed by the tap. So that's an easy way if you have to do multiple operations to you know, repeating whole positions. You don't have to type every single tool in. You can use the copy and paste function. And you can even copy that um, tool path out of that program and paste it into a different program.